Hey guys, Josh back with another quick video. Um, I wanted to show you guys a really cool um, antique uh, World War II era um, surveyor's compass. It says U.S. Army Corps of Engineering. Um, this is the, I'm guessing it's a 1044 model. But anyway, this is a uh, another example of a radium bearing compass. I actually got a pretty good deal on it. Um, but let me show you here. So the surveyor's compass kind of works like this. You can see what you're looking at and tell exactly how many degrees um, you are from it. You can get compute heading and bearing and all that stuff. Um, but anyway, um, this particular compass happens to have been painted with radium. So all that, all those brown um, burned lines you see are. Um, radium and this watch is actually fairly hot. So let me show you first where all the radium paint is. Black light here. Let's see if I can get at least some of the fluorescence to. There we go. So you can see parts of it are fluorescing green under the light, even, or even with the main light in here on. Um, and that's where the radium is located. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open this up and show you with the detector what this looks like. So here's with my uh, Canberra MRAD 103. Try and... And the readings I've been getting kind of bounce around 1.1, um, 1.2 um, milliruntgens per hour, or yeah, milliruntgens per hour. It's actually a decently hot sample. Uh, here's my Canberra MRAD 103. About a milli per hour. Turn the audio off. And we'll see how many counts per minute we get with a Ludlum Model 3 um, with a Ludlum 44.9 Alpha Beta Gamma probe. It's a pancake probe. So I'll set this guy up so we can see it. Needle instantly buries on times one. So I'll drop times ten, reset. And we'll go to trying to keep the pancake probe about a centimeter off the top of this. So yeah, about nearly 20,000 counts a minute. That's not bad from this uh, this old compass. I actually got a really good deal on this guy. It was about 40 bucks. Um, I've seen people at antique shows show, trying to sell these for as much as like 90, 100. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this is a pretty cool old compass. Uh, I'm really glad that we know better than putting radium in a bunch of stuff now because uh, I couldn't imagine being a soldier and carrying this around in, on a, in my hip pouch or in my gear or in my pocket all day. I really don't think that was, a, that's not a good idea. But anyway, yeah, just uh, kind of a cool sample, a little bit on the hotter side. Um, yeah, kind of fun. But anyway, yeah, cheers.